The narration begins in the South Florida town of Blue Bay, where a high school senior student named Brittany Havers is offering a flower at the swamp near Gator Alley, clearly missing her mother. After strolling through the swamp, she drives her sports car to her destination, Blue Bay High School. Upon arrival, she is greeted by her friend, Shannon, who feels sorry for her loss. A while later, the bully Maya King arrives. Principal Moster is conducting a seminar on the dangers of excess, with the help of their guests, Detective Morrison and Dr. Julian Haynes. While the guests are speaking, the students tease and ridicule them, prompting Moster to apologize. After the event, the students gather at the beach to watch a volleyball match. As Brittany plays exceptionally well and is on the verge of winning, Maya King, who holds a grudge against her and wants to expose her sudden rise to being the richest student at Blue Bay High, taunts and tries to distract her to ruin her gameplay. Despite this, Brittany manages to win the match. After the volleyball game, the youth gather at Brittany's house for a party she is hosting. However, she felt worried because her stepfather might find out about the event, but Shannon tried to calm her down and insisted she have fun. Disliking what she saw, she went inside the house, where she noticed someone playing with a portrait of her deceased mother, which made her very angry. Because of this, she tried to stop the party and went straight to her room, where Shannon followed her to apologize. Meanwhile, her rival, Maya King, arrived to mock her again. Maya reminded her that she was poor and lived in a trailer park until her alcoholic mother married her billionaire stepfather. After mocking Brittany, Maya left. A while later, Niles Dunlap, her very angry stepfather, arrived and kicked out the kids partying in his house. He called the portrait of her mother trash, just like her daughter, much to Brittany's disgrace. Brittany Havers lives with her wealthy stepfather after her mother ran her car off the road in Gator Alley and was presumably eaten by alligators a year earlier. That evening, she notices on the security camera that Niles is in trouble because of his gambling. When she goes to check on him, he insists that she should stay out of it, but she insists that he can trust her. The following day, Niles flies a plane for a business trip. Unfortunately, during the flight, his aircraft experiences engine failure. Meanwhile, Brittany and Shannon, along with their teammates, attend volleyball practice. After playing, while showering, she sees her stepfather's enemy, who immediately disappears. Shannon approaches her to inform her that the principal is looking for her. She finds Detective Morrison, who brings her the bad news about her stepfather's accident, which saddens her. At the investigation site, we meet Terence Bridge, an insurance investigator. He doesn't believe in Morrison's findings, so he conducts his own investigation, during which he finds swamp rats, puzzling Terence. At Brittany's mansion, while two girls are swimming, Detective Morrison arrives to inform them that they have found a rat on Niles' plane, possibly the work of his enemies. Shannon mentions the man Niles had a fight with the previous night, prompting them to review the CCTV footage. When Dunlap is killed in a private plane crash, his will stipulates that Brittany will receive a small stipend until she finishes college, after which she will receive only $25,000 a year for life from the estate. The rest of Dunlap's assets, totaling $70 million, are to be left to a corporate trust, unless a blood heir can be found. This is unacceptable to Brittany. Maya King hears about Niles' will from a classmate and comes up with a bad idea. Days later, in court, Brittany is called by her lawyer. Brittany's brash, relatively poor classmate Maya King suddenly claims to be Dunlap's illegitimate daughter, which angers Brittany. Due to the commotion in the courtroom, the judge adjourns the session and decides to continue the next day. At the following hearing, Maya submits letters from Niles and claims to be the child of a former housemate who had an affair with Niles. She is ordered by the judge to submit to a DNA test. At the laboratory where the DNA test will be conducted, Terence arrives and asks Haynes to inform him of the results, which he agrees to do. That night, when Brittany returns home, she is attacked by Cicatrice, Niles' enemy, who demands $7 million for Niles' gambling debt. At the hearing, Haynes submits the DNA test results, which prove that Maya King is Dunlap's child. This news does not please Brittany. At the Dunlap home, while watching TV, it is reported that Cicatrice has been arrested as a suspect in her stepfather's accident. Wanting to celebrate, Brittany hears a noise on her way to the wine cellar but finds it is just rats. Suddenly, Maya appears, and after some teasing, the girls reveal they were in cahoots in the scam to inherit the fortune and also reveal that they are lovers. As they begin to entertain each other, Dr. Julian Haynes arrives and quickly joins them. Haynes had arranged the DNA test. The trio are in cahoots running a scam to secure and share Dunlap's fortune. 
In Gator Alley, Terence approaches Brittany to gather information and warns her that he knows what happened with the trio the previous night. However, Brittany remains silent. At school, Brittany meets with Maya to tell her that Terence knows what happened. As Brittany becomes paranoid, Maya reassures her, and they begin to entertain each other again. At the laboratory, insurance investigator Terence Bridge, investigating the circumstances of the plane crash, discovers from Dunlap's medical records that Dunlap had scarlet fever as a child, which can lead to sterility. He asks Dr. Haynes how Dunlap could have fathered a child. Dr. Haynes becomes nervous about the plot unraveling and contacts Maya. Maya calms him down while Terence, hidden nearby, observes them. Terence discovers that Maya's real father is Bobby Santiago, who died a year ago. This prompts him to visit Bobby's grave, where he notices that the soil is freshly dug. Maya calls Brittany and convinces her that they need to get rid of Haynes. After signing the inheritance papers, Maya happily informs Brittany that they have succeeded. They need to stick to the plan to meet Haynes later that night. At a motel, Terence discovers that Haynes is no longer a fully licensed doctor. Maya and Brittany meet that night at the docks, and Haynes also agrees to meet them. Maya shoots him, but he manages to escape. When he catches up to Brittany, Maya immediately shoots him again. The two girls dispose of his body in Gator Alley. Terence goes to Haynes' house, and as he opens the door, Brittany arrives in Haynes' car. Terence notices some grass on the vehicle. The next day, Terence and Morrison go to Gator Alley to search for Haynes' missing body. When they find nothing, Morrison gets angry and decides to stop the investigation. Terence tries to convince Morrison, but he doesn't believe him. Maya goes to Brittany's house to pick her up, but they couldn't leave. After Bridge learns the entire affair was planned, he shows up at the Dunlap home and demands half the money in return for not going to the police. Brittany, refusing to give up any of the money, suddenly leaves, which disappoints Maya. Brittany goes to her room to get a gun and points it at Bridge, but instead, she shoots Maya. He loads Maya's body into the trunk of his car, she tells Bridge that he has to earn his half. And he and Brittany drive off to dispose of it. When they stop at a traffic light, Brittany gets out of the car and walks away as a police car pulls up behind them. Bridge can do nothing but drive away when the traffic light turns green, and the police car honks at him to get moving. Brittany phones in an anonymous tip that Bridge's car trunk contains Maya's body. He is soon arrested and jailed. A videotape from the Dunlap home security system shows Bridge demanding half of the inheritance money from Brittany and Maya. Later, Brittany flies off in a private plane with the very much alive Dunlap, who had faked his own death to escape prosecution for misappropriating millions of dollars of corporate funds to pay his gambling debts, and also to avoid the Cuban gambler Cicatrice, to whom he still owed millions. Brittany and Dunlap don parachutes, planning to bail out over swampland and disappear together. As Dunlap is poised to bail out, Brittany reveals that she packed his chute with newspaper and pushes him from the plane to his death. She then bails out, landing safely in the swamp, where her mother, also very much alive, is waiting for her in a swamp boat. It is revealed that Brittany and her mother orchestrated everything, including the deaths of Brittany's co-conspirators, to steal Dunlap's fortune. Let's delve into the untold events. Brittany's mother orchestrated her death at Gator Alley. After losing the gamble, Cicatrice threatened Dunlap, warning that something would happen to him if he didn't pay the debt. Brittany then planned how Dunlap could solve his problem. Dunlap convinced Maya to persuade the doctor to cooperate with the plan. Maya spoke to Haynes about collaborating on the plan by fixing the DNA test result. Brittany and Maya dug up her father's grave and placed his body in Niles Plain. They relax in the sun on a tropical island. Brittany comes down the stairs of their villa overlooking the ocean with two drinks and hands one to her mother. As Brittany watches intently, her mother takes a sip and remarks that the drink is strong. Brittany replies with a wry smile, they do make them strong here, don't they? With that, it is left to the audience to decide whether or not Brittany has poisoned the drink. For more videos similar to this, don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications. Thank you for watching.